We are watching our first stand-up routine for Inspired by NY, and it's Good Grief from Marlon Wayans. And I had to pause it. We got through about 17 minutes of it, and this one right here is inspired to say a lot. Let me just let you kick it off. Well, the uh, title is appropriate, because uh, that's what I was thinking. Good grief. What am I watching? <laughs> Well, you got jokes. You care to elaborate, Tim? Um, I haven't heard the N-bomb drop that much since, uh, Eddie Murphy, or, yeah, ba dum bomb So, um, yeah, I was expecting something, I don't know, just not as basic and crude, um, you know, which is, Ooh. which is, you know, just, um, you know, if I were if I were thirteen years old, I'd be rolling on the floor. Um, Ooh. But <laughs> I guess uh, you know, like he's talking about good stuff, but it's just the way he's talking about it is just sort of like, wow, you know, it's like that's basic comedy one hundred and one lowest common denominator type of stuff, you know. As far as the performance goes, he's selling his style of humor. Yeah. As far as the style of humor goes. We aren't folks who really just look the other way on using the N word over right. and over. Right. But you know that Marlon probably would use it. And I was like, yeah, okay, mm. yeah, he's going to use it. Plus, he's at the Apollo, and so his audience might be more familiar. tolerant of yeah. it. Yeah. But the subject matter is getting to me. It's feeling like this whole seeing your parents in different lights. And yes, he's being crude about mm -hmm. it, but it's also pushing, like a lot of comedians will do to get that reaction yeah, from you, yeah. but make you face some stuff that, yeah, we don't usually try to face. I like the concept, grieving, but doing it with irreverence, but it is crude. Yeah. And yeah. it's getting a reaction out of me because the crude gets you into territories people just don't speak. So you don't hear these jokes <laughs> except for when people push it. So I get it as right. a writer, as right. a performer, he's selling what he has as you know, somebody who's writing things and they're really exploiting the jokes, he's doing that. Right. He's obviously a pro. Don't hate us out here. There's just <laughs> different styles of jokes that people will do. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way through this because right. got to say, as far as being inspired, I've done a little bit of stand-up, but not a lot. So it's not something that I'm actually trying to mine for my own work. And this is something where we do tend to try to find things that we're trying to be inspired by to put into our own lives in terms of spirituality, health, right. acting, writing, music, relationship stuff, just all kinds of things. Right. For this, it's a little different because the style lends itself to a certain type of comedy. Yeah. yeah. And there are a lot of times when you do want to push the funny and then pull it back for the tone when it's not stand-up. But a lot of stand-up can just stay pushed. <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't have to have a believable character. Here you are selling this is your story and you can sort of judge it up as you want to and you're given that license. I like the stand-up format for people to really explore what they want to explore and mm -hmm. not have to fit it into other places. But I also find that, because that's not what I'm trying to do now, we'll see if we can last through the whole thing. Maybe Marlon will shift gear. Sometimes people yeah. really shape these hour specials right, in different ways. Right, right. We got to a place where there was sort of a pause and a shift, and so mm -hmm. that's why one of the reasons that we're stopping. Also, right. you just look like you really had something you <sighs> needed to say. Yeah, I mean, he was, uh, he was doing a good job with... Um, you know, like, just regular stand-up. You know, like, he was... Movement. He, he was, yeah, movement. He Using was props. props. Yeah. Doing and, little but voices it, but it, but and but things. But, you know, the thing, the thing is, you know, it looked very sort of, like, pre-programmed. You know, like, you know, he's, he's using, you know, the uh, the curtain on the stage. And, yeah. And the, you know, like, obviously. Sometimes it feels like if you read the room, they will tell you when they want you to move on from this set of jokes that you've program that are sort of close to each other yeah. and it feels like maybe he stayed with them because he wanted to use certain props so yeah, maybe yeah, sometimes yeah. the audience had gotten the laugh or didn't get a huge huge laugh but he was doing it anyway because right, he wanted to use right, the prop right, right, right. i like the idea of you work the room right and you also have your material that you want to get out there so he also has some things he wanted to say and see if it will land yeah there's yeah, all yeah. kinds of stuff about this dance you do with the audience intimately when you're doing stand-up and right, i've never right. mastered it i enjoyed my one time doing it but I want to use my pen game and my performance for the stuff typically. Yeah. So. It's it's hard for me with judging judging stand up because yeah. uh, I think you know I after seeing Robin Williams. Oh my you know, god! It's just like 
uh, who who else could you know be on that level? You know? Unfair to compare every artist to like I know, I know. Robin Will or or like every singer has to be Whitney Houston right, or right, everybody exactly. has to be Michelangelo if they're going to be right, the art. Right, it's right, just right, so right, like right. That, that. Okay. I know, I know. All right. Well. So, uh, so I admit that you know I I judge unfairly you know um, yes <laughs> you know from but i mean he's you know other other than you know basically he's doing a great job um marlon yeah yeah uh, Mar yeah yeah marlon um he's doing his thing his we're thing, just yeah, not people yeah. who really go for every style of yeah. stand-up yeah it's a little bit too crude for my my taste yeah um, but there's some middle know, of the road stand up that this is not he pushes he's yeah, really yeah, yeah. trying to sort right, of work right, his right. angle he's not trying to be super safe and i don't like it when people try to be too safe no 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 but sometimes people push the crew just because they it don't, gets a reaction they don't have the skill to do anything else you oh know? Um, yeah you know it's it's a cheap easy thing you know like i think his mind works that way i think he yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. the angle Absolutely. for the entertainment Absolutely. i think yeah. some people, i don't think some he people can't are just like yeah. he's a smart guy i'm, I'm oh, gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna no, come no, no, in no. and say I'm i think he, yeah. i think he's just providing different layers of what's going to get people sort of shaken yeah, 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 yeah. and so i think that's more of it than like not having other things to say he definitely does i mean we have more material let's see yeah let's give yeah. him a chance yeah, let's yeah. give him more material to play with and then we will be back after that so we are now about halfway through Marlon Wayans' Good Grief. Listen, we keep on saying to ourselves, probably just not saying it out loud, are we going to make it through this whole thing? And then we laugh out loud. Oh, you know, the audience sometimes thinks he's going too far. So they'll boo or they'll say, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because he's pushing the envelope. And he'll say, y'all booed me over this or y'all awed me over that. And then half a minute later, I'm just like ah, laughing. It's really well done for what it is right but which, which is the style of 30 years ago which you could say things 30 years ago you can't get away with now yeah know? people are booing him yeah yeah exactly. they're booing him yeah because they're like no yeah we like, don't believe and he's like, like come we on we don't do that anymore yeah like, he's like y'all gentrified no we have standards that we right. wanted to say back in the day but then the tide hadn't turned yet so we could speak truth mm -hmm. about like this is not okay you marginalizing people within communities that are already marginalized yeah. lgbtq people of color we're making jokes at their expense that's not cool people booing that's what we should have been doing back in the day so he's getting his booze and he's still doing what he does yeah. and i think because he's bringing up things like let's make the most out of our lives He's talking about grief, and so we get paralyzed sometimes by looking at our own mortality. What's he really doing? Say, let's look at it, and let's look at our parents as more than just disciplinarians. Let's find the friends yeah. that they can be, because they're people like us. And yeah, under underneath everything he's saying yeah. is you know a good message. Message. Yeah. He's starting with a message, but and then getting in, crude, in, and then in, in come back that to good a message. Is, oh man, just like yeah, wow. It's... But we're laughing out loud. You're over here like this. He's over here watching like this, uh, and then some cat go. Ah! You know, so he's getting you too. Yeah, every once in a while, every once in a while. I'm laughing so more. Yeah, he, he, ha he has the skill. He's just not flexing it all the time. It's so the it's... pattern of people are allowed to explore different types of comedy, yeah. and you yeah. want to do that. So yeah, you yeah, give yeah. people who have different styles in the audience yeah. a chance to find you and come along with you. Some people like the physical humor. Some people like you know the wordplay yeah. that's really cute. He's done a little bit of the wordplay that's cute. Yeah. And then there's also the gross out stuff. Some people like that. Some right, people right, don't. Right, right. And then a little drop in the celebrity stuff because he knows celebrities right, and people sort right. of keep up with that. And so we get the, oh, yes, but oh, no, boom. Yeah. I, just, I, just, somebody I like, just keep on thinking to myself, like, really? We're still doing that? Like, <laughs> Not your style. No, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it, it was. I'm going to ask you. When I was 13. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just saying. But, Shots no, fired. No, and every once in a while, he'll come up with something really witty and really yeah. clever. And, he does. Yeah. yeah. He's allowing himself to have a range of things to serve more than just our style of humor yeah. and his own interest. Yeah. He has his own interest for how he wants to tell this story about pulling us out of only thinking about um, you know, happy topics. He's, talk he's talking about and he's dealing with aging, dealing with mortality. Yeah. How yeah. do we think about, talk about the phrases that we use right. and you know, just blowing past some of the strictures that we have about seeing our parents only a certain way. And instead, hey, can we loosen up and see them as people? Talk to them about sex. Talk to them about right. different things. And how they change over time. You know, Absolutely. As we all do. Because I don't know if we're going to make it much further through this, let me just go ahead and say, I think the writing of this is a style that you and I don't appreciate as much, but it's well done for what it is. Would you agree with that? Yes. yes. Yeah. And the acting, of course, he's really selling his thing. Y'all know mm -hmm. Marlon can really express what he has to say. 
as far as music at the beginning we had a little bit to kick off the show like people often do but for the fact that it's a stand-up routine that doesn't usually come up a lot for most people mm -hmm. stand up mm -hmm. and then when it comes to things like talking about relationships that's where this is strong like he really is getting into talking about like his parents relationship a little bit and making some crude jokes and being funny about it but also you know, daring to talk about some of the things that you might not think about talking about about yeah. your parents. Break yeah. that taboo. Right. It can be instructive. If you have a window into somebody else's relationship that's willing to be honest with you, that can be helpful. Right. Then in terms of spirituality, he's making a lot of deep points. I'm sure you got something that you can connect to spirituality. Sure. <laughs> it's actually a lot. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, the overarching topics that he's, you know, pulling from are, um, yeah, are, are good just you know, spiritual things, uh, what's he saying? Like you were saying, you know, just sort of have compassion for, for, for everyone, for people, because we're all, we're all flawed. Yeah, that's and one of the early things he said. Yeah, he didn't he's use like, the word flawed, but yeah. Because, but <laughs> because he's making that's that not point. funny. Right, but he's oh. making that point in our faces. Yeah. Everyone is flawed, but we're still going to need to recognize that we're doing the best we can. Yeah. But we're yeah. all flawed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then insert cuss word there. Right, right. So and that was he, a good you know, Even he's good flawed. Message. And, you know, he said, like, apparently he started the whole program three hours late. You know, and that's, uh, yeah, that's... He has some hardcore fans that, in that, there. That's flawed, yeah. That was flawed. <laughs> but in terms of other things like health, yeah, another connection would be what that he's mentioned. Because he's mentioned quite a few things, again, about aging, right, 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 about right. how we think about, you know, sort of mourning that someone passed and we thought, oh, they're taking too soon, taking too soon. Well, who do we think is going to be going soon? So he's sort of getting uh, into these off-color kind of things. That, yeah, yeah. like, But but you all know we think about that. If somebody right. doesn't look that well, you're like, oh, I hope they hold on. Right. He's just saying it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah, go we to these do. comedians for. Yeah. They say the things right. that we, in polite conversation anyway, don't say. We try to say some of those things. Right. Too, but we don't put as yeah. many cuss words. I mean, in he there. was he he brought up what I was thinking, you know, when he was making the jokes about the Lakers, and you know, I was like, well, why didn't you bring up this person, you know? Wait, go ahead and tell people. Okay, <laughs> spoilers. We're gonna tell so, the jokes so he said, here. You know, like why why didn't you take Shaq instead you know, of Kobe? Instead because of, that was the Kobe, accident right, right. that nobody saw coming. It wasn't right, right, about right, like right. and like really issues. really we're talking about Lakers that that why didn't you choose him and it's like um, you're waiting for the obvious one yeah you? like what about magic johnson you know it's like and uh yeah it's, uh, and then you know he then he brought it up and i'm like oh okay yeah because yeah, you know, it's so obvious but but i think he still pushes things even if they're obvious he takes it to some place where you're laughing out loud yeah, yeah, he yeah, says yeah, something yeah. about it yeah, you're just like yeah. oh my gosh i didn't see that coming yeah i mean he definitely does his job he uh you know, absolutely he, he yeah he pushes things he takes it to a place and, and that's part of comedy. You have to you have to push. You have yeah. to push. Um, sometimes people respond to it. Sometimes they won't. And yeah. that's just the name of the game. And he really was floating out there to the audience. I had a more like dark joke about this. Right, right, right. And right, right, should right. I tell it? Because right. they were booing him. They right. were giving and him and the half the crowd the gr was like, yeah, no. yeah. They're like, go and Half the crowd was like, no. Yeah. So he was yeah. sort of pulling the audience to see, right, you know, right, take the temperature. Right, right, right. But it's also a good a good sort of yeah build up build to say, up. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's yeah, coming. Here it's coming. Right. Let me ask you. Since we found some things to be inspired by, and this is not really the thing that we usually talk about on this show, right. do we want to move on or do we want to finish it? Because I think, you know, honestly, this is a show about what we're inspired by, and there's right. a lot here that we don't really sit with in terms of the N-word being used a whole right. lot. Right. The crude humor, I'm actually fine with that. We've talked about uh, Deadlock, and that had mm -hmm. a lot of crude humor. So I, I'm not, actually fine with yeah, crude I mean, humor. Not, it's not, more the N-word, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a yeah. lot of N-word being yeah. dropped yeah. a lot. <laughs> so I could bail on it. Do you want to finish it up? What do you want to do? I think I got. I think I got. What you want to stop? Get. Yeah, I think I got everything. You know, so like, like his, you guys, his style and his you know stuff. We like to be open. If there's something that Marlon's doing that y'all want us to check out, let us know. Comment, like, and subscribe. We gave it a try. We tried to let him do his thing, and he kept making us laugh. Right. But there's just a thing here where we're focusing on inspired, and yeah. we respect him. The writing, the performance, mm -hmm. all kinds of things that he's doing, bringing up the spiritual connections, bringing up these deeper things about health, like talking about people, you know, and what they've been going through and sort of the way that a lot of us think about. Yeah. And then uh, making some connection that's sort of funny. And for us, funny, but not enough to pull us all the way through. Yeah, yeah. But also, I think with this show, we're sort of more primed to looking at scripted. And 
Stand up is a different beast. Right, right. And so I think in the future, if there's something you think that could be an interesting combination, like show, shows like Seinfeld, you know, where they did some stand up with something mm -hmm. scripted. But let us know if there's something out there that you think we should check out that would have stand up, that would be more of our speed that you want us to talk about. Comment, like, subscribe. And if you want to hear us talking about things that were a little pushed and a little crude, you could check out our talk about uh, Deadlock. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, be inspired out there, enjoy, and as Marlon Wayans was saying, you know, really get the most out of your lives, y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.